Hey guys and welcome back to Massa Factorio. I'm joined as always by Arimba, Avak, and Mangled Pork. You had to think there, didn't you? Were you were you trying to decide to call him Bentham or Mangled Pork? Yeah, I was actually. That that's was, yeah. that's what the, there was a slight pause when I was introducing him, and that's exactly the same reason for it. I'm playing with lasers. It's so hard for everyone. <sighs> you do. If you guys want to see these new newfangled lasers, you should come up here and I'm check them way. out. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I like, I, I like this entire base. Oh, I like beam bunnies. lasers. Yeah, I'm actually on the front lines. It's weird, I know. It happens occasionally. Only when they're shooting. You said okay, right? With. So you just meant in the middle of the factory, but like slightly up. See, no, the thing is, Speedo, is, is it's not when there's shiny new things. It's when he thinks he's hopelessly tipped the scales in favor of him surviving. Oh, hold on, there's ah. biters coming. I'll be there in a minute. God, I mean, like, I, I, ow, 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 ow. Ooh. That looks pretty that, awesome. That, that was close. That is genuinely awesome. Oh, that's what they yeah. should be like in vanilla. Yeah. And you know what's hilarious? Guess what? who made this? Who? Clonin. Oh, wow, really? <laughs> the community manager for uh, Factorio. It's one of the Factorio people who made it. And it's like, why isn't this in vanilla? I'm still not understanding exactly. Flabbergasted. Like, it was just like, if, if a feature doesn't get made, he'll just make it anyway. It's a separate thing. Pretty much. It's a good idea. Gives people the option. Hello. Uh, good old turret creep. It won't be around for much longer, though. Oh, yeah? Why is that? Uh, oh, they have an arming time or something, didn't they? I? I think yeah. I read about that last week. Mm hmm. Well, let's take advantage of it while we can, I suppose. Seems reasonable. I was, I was going to build a tank, but this seems better. Well, these lasers are freaking amazing, so yeah. They're just amazing to watch. Oh, they yeah. are genuinely They're... awesome to watch. Those worms are not going to enjoy you, I remember. <laughs> oh, wow. They actually sound like phasers from Star Trek. Yeah. I was far enough away before that I didn't realize they had a noise, and I was I was going to congratulate on that. It's like, yes, well done, well done. Your lasers are clearly not that hot, but you know, as a result, they they don't make any sound. That that is correct. This is how it should be. But no, no. Still, it makes more sense than the, the projectile that follows enemies and yes. goes pew pew pew. Indeed. Though I mean, it's... the thing with the laser is. The obvious argument to the whole sound thing is the beam doesn't make sound, but the the mechanism generating that beam quite possibly does. You know, maybe it's a discharge of energy through I I don't know, and it's focusing things. There's moving parts, perhaps. I'm not sure if they would be moving parts, or but they're just calling it a laser when it's actually a plasma bolt. <sighs> Blowing my mind, Steejo. Okay, it looks like we gotta sort this whole green circuit situation a bit. We are now making explosives in an extremely slapdash fashion. <laughs> uh, the, the green circuits is because of... Uh, like there's no copper. Iron. But, no, it's actually oh, iron. No, no, the, the iron's because I'm fucking around with it. Okay, but that's the problem with greens. It's actually iron. No, nope, it's definitely copper. No? I'm looking at it right now, there's copper in the belts, Joe. It's iron. Yeah, there's copper in the belts because I'm fucking with iron. We'll fix it. Yeah, when iron's fixed, it'll be copper. Okay, but right oh. now, I'm not yes. wrong. Oh my God. Right now, it's iron. Yes, because I'm making an omni station so that we can use copper. All Yay, the omni station! are running out of power. It's all going wrong. No, it's not all going wrong. They're doing stuff. There's like a million bots around this one roboport queuing. They're carrying ore. Why are the robots carrying ore? For the Omni Station. There's just a queue of them. They're, they're, they're traveling miles oh, just to, to find the Sorry, I, I wasn't getting why they were carrying ore. Every time you said for the Omni Station, I was like, why are you building a station that needs robots as part? What? And now I see why. It's because they were dismantling belts full of ore. And chests full of ore, no doubt. No, no chests. Oh, no, the chests the are belts. fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, everything makes sense now. 
but it's a robot station, which is why they're going to be carrying ore anyway. Yeah, but they're not going to be carrying it super long distances, are they? Oh, no, not at all. Because no. at that point, it becomes so energy inefficient, it's painful. Yeah. I'm, I'm a big robot. I'm helping them out. Being very nice. <laughs> Mostly because I want iron. I want circuits. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, your name is a rumba. Yeah. It, it seems well, almost fate. I had that name first, but yes. Someone decided to turn my name into a, uh, a robot name. I know when I ever looked back. The oil. Are the machines running? Because the water pipes don't need to have water in the pipes. As long as the machines are running, it doesn't matter. Not all of them. They're struggling. Is it because of water missing from the machines? I don't know. I just know all the pipes are... I, th I think, yeah, I think there, there are machines not working specifically because of water. Yeah, we are having water shortages in those pipes. We need to uh, get more Is in it. because we're, like, running the entire oil outpost off one... More than likely, thing. yes. More than likely. Mm-hmm. Looks to be the case, yeah. So we need to push more water into this pipe. Also, the shows is we've got a, we've got a lot of production going on. Depending on how long the pipe is, we may need to. Ooh, it takes a turn over here. Okay, uh, may need to start looking at putting in. Oh wow, this pipe is huge, and there are yeah, no it goes all the way back pumps down to this water over here. There are no pumps in this. Well, no, there's not a single pump in the water setup yet. If we're gonna do it, we need to do the the five pump layout. Oh wow, you want full um, pressure in the pipes, don't you? Well, the thing is, a single offshore pump provides 150 water per second, and I highly doubt our machines are using that much. The issue is the pressure due to the distance. So yeah, yeah, no, I, I understand the... that, but um, yeah, yeah, sure, we we can we can go for the what? the for the full thing if you want. Yeah, the 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 pressure was low at the uh, the source end as well. Oh yeah, the pipes. I've added suddenly... a second pump, so that should. Maybe now help. I guess we'll see. I mean, the pressure will drop over time. Mm -mm. Regardless. No, surprisingly, adding a second offshore pump at the source won't help at all because the issue is that you lose pressure over distance. And an offshore pump puts 150 units per second into the pipe. You've just added another offshore pump, but they can't carry more than 150 anyway. Yeah. So you haven't really increased the source amount. we got to do this little squirrely thing. That, uh, yeah. I'll build one. Uh, but basically, the way the way pressure in pipes work is the X much pipe reduces pressure. You can only have X amount of pressure in a pipe of Y distance. But there's weirdness in the way that, that the pipes calculate distance. For example, an underground pipe only ever counts as one pipe's worth of distance, no matter how long the underground pipe is. So you can kind of tweak it. Um, but effectively what Arumba is probably showing you right now is he's setting up so there's five pumps at each point. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. You need one exactly. of these and it needs to be spaced every... Let me go look it up. I don't remember. I think it's three or four. Might be wrong. Long distance pipes and pumps. Okay, so... Fluids in factory have a speed limit. The exact value depends on the distance between the full pump, full pipe, and the empty pipe. So, the distance you can go is only four pipes, which mm -hmm. again, Avex right about underground pipes. So what you can do is you can go four underground pipe sections between one of these pump layouts to keep full throughput. I'll just copy this and I'll. Uh... Yeah, that's that's the type of thing we should yeah. add to the. Uh, to the. I'm not sure how you do your squirrely thing. I'm afraid. Uh, okay. Um... What I would do is make, go to your uh, keyboard controls for it and keybind it to like F2. Not used by anything, and then you can just press F2 to bring up Foreman whenever you want it. Okay. But I'm going to add it to Foreman right now. Do we have repairing pack, repair packs being put into the, the rule report system yet? I doubt it. Yes, we do. Your doubt. Yeah, there they are. They're just slow. It was misplaced, the rumba. The other thing to know about pipes, and this one is a little bit of a, it's not quite intuitive, is it's pipe, distance of pipe between junctions or any kind of building that isn't a pipe, basically. So a boiler 
doesn't count as part of the distance of the pipe. A junction in a pipe will act as a signal booster for the pressure. Does that make sense? I mean, kind it of. doesn't need to make sense, but do you understand what I mean, Mankle Poke? Sorry, I was just, like, I'm trying to work out where all these pipes go, because I noticed there was another direction. <laughs> okay. Well, oh, that's me. I was siphoning off there. What was that? Running so much off this, so, off this. It sounded like you were songifying yourself just then. Okay. <laughs> why you Discord? Why? Why you do this? Yeah, it, I, I, I see why our water went wrong. It, it literally, like oh, that man, one I pump is running it. all of our water-based stuff. Should be able to handle it, though. It's surprising yeah. how much those things can do. I'm going to go and grab some grenades, and then I'm going to grenade this forest. In fact, have we got a flamethrower yet? If we don't, we should have. Uh, very well. I shall build myself a flamethrower. Then I need flamethrower bits. Bantam! Yes? Would you care to make flamethrower fuel? I can do that. Yes. I am looking at it now. Wonderful. I will equip this now. Basically, flamethrowers are the new combat shotgun. Once you've got flamethrowers, you don't need any other type of weapon. Yep. Yeah, Just don't okay. set the forest on fire all at once. I am 100% going to be using this to set the forest on fire all at once. I feel that as you have expressly told me not to, and I've told you to make the means by which I'm going to do it, I do owe you this information. <laughs> but I understand that even if you don't make the fuel setup, I'll make it anyway. I'm just letting you know, in case you have some sort of moral objection to it, rather than just a fear of bite of reprisal. We shall make the greatest fire the North has ever seen. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll trigger some sort of signal beacon fiasco, I'm sure. It'll be great. I wish that... It's always an annoying that um, you can't swap around the uh, the liquid inputs. Oh, I in know. Yeah, I, I really feel that. that. It's worked out. <laughs> There's a mod for that. It's called Goddammit Water. Really? I, I approve of this. Yep. This sounds like an really amazing mod. On, on, um, on oil setups, where you, um, when you re like initially set up the, uh, the refineries, yeah. both of the inputs are oil, and you don't know which one's going to be water later on, unless you remember, which I never do. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that mod's quite nice. It, it adds a second, a second um, way to build chemical plants and other things that use water, and they have the pipes reversed. You just build whichever one you choose. You need to at that moment. It's pretty cool. I'm way too much of a modaholic, aren't I? You are a little bit, but it is awesome because you do genuinely know, like, if there is a, hmm, I really wish there was this. You're like, yeah, there is. Mm -hmm. None of the rest of us would have known that. And that Maybe is like pretty amazing. Of, of helpful yeah. mods. Yeah. Well, those are the kind of mods that I usually look for. I'm not a big fan of most overhaul type things. I like I like the ones that actually usually just facilitate a better vanilla experience. Hmm. Why was this power pole here? Because I connected to it, and then I'm like, oh wait, this isn't connected to anything else. It's just stuck I have in no the idea. middle of the oil area. Ah. Uh, blessed is the flame of fuel Glorious. that shall purge the forest. I feel like there's no point in getting the tank, apart from not dying. Oh, that reminds me. People have been shouting at me for, like, a week because I never put on the heavy armor I made, like, ten episodes ago. <laughs> <laughs> and at this point, Rumba's running around in, like, the, the proto-modular armor. Yeah, the so modular armor. So many of my one. viewers are just like, oh my god, he finally noticed. <laughs> what is wrong with you? It took us so long to set up that flame of fuel production facility that a Rumba is already finished. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I see what you're doing. You're using your robot to cheat. That's what they're for. Why they uh, exist. Okay. Well, the entire point of robots is to refill your inventory. That's all I use them for. And the entire point of flamethrowers is to set fire to forests. To the rain. You realize that that causes right. pollution, yes. right? Yes. Yes. And you're not worried? No. Not at all. I fear no biter. In fact, I want them to come and attack us. 
Mm. So you can give him what for. What's the best fuel type to use in a flamethrower turret? It's light oil, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Bentham, do you yes. think you might be able to pipe down some light oil for me? Um, I would be ever so grateful. What was that, sorry? Down to the, the power area? Yes, please. Because I have just set light to an entire forest, so. It is going okay. to be glorious battle. I will. Oh, way down damn. there, though. Wait, wait, where are you building it? I'm confused. Just down by the pumps, because basically, if anything wants to get to the uh, the steam engines, it'll have to go through this area. All right. Also, I, I desperately have... need more ammo. Damn it! Do we have underground pipe production somewhere? I will go in search of it. Hooray! Because manually crafting underground pipes is the worst thing in the universe. I keep on putting I, this thing like, I would like five underground belts, and it's like, okay, just wait while we craft these 50 normal... No, no, no <laughs> underground pipes while we craft these 50 normal pipes. Yeah. Tis a little bit annoying. Tis true, tis true. And yet I never actually build underground pipe production, because I'm the worst. Really? It's one of the first things I actually set up is pipe production. <laughs> yeah. Because it's so it's simple. You only ever need it while I'm not in my production area. But it's so simple. It's one of the it's one of the first like automated things that I set up just because I go through all the things that are super easy to make. I yeah, just then you can set just up run around with a stack on you. Okay. Yeah, exactly. But, at all times. But you're forgetting that I'm me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just remembering. Mm. That's oh, true. He's not wrong. <sighs> he isn't wrong. No, no, he isn't. <sighs> Should I siphon off the light oil from the the tanks? I can't tell if these pumps matter. Ah, uh, yeah, what the pumps matter on the tanks. Some let it out and some push it in. So, go don't go from one of the pump points. Go from one of the others. Otherwise, you're going to uh, possibly end up trying to pull from our production of light oil. Which would make me the sad. Also, just take it from like from like here? Yeah, that would work. Alright. So I was considering taking it directly from the refineries, but... That would be dumb. Maybe a bad idea. Like, oh, we don't need light oil for anything else, just for burning things. Ah, I see your hodgepodge explosive production. Yes, it is hodgepodge. You were, in fact, quite correct. All right. Trying to maintain 150 fluid per second is just not going to work. I can't go far enough. I'm going to go down to 120. Oh, man, I just realized something. Uh, we have a request a chest and passive provider chests. Being automated, don't we, see Joe? Yep. Awesome. Then, I've just been going around and setting up all of the chests the way I usually do, but I can set them up as requester chests so that the bots will bring the ammo along. That'll be useful. So many bots here. You can hide under the, the constant moving clouds of them. Right, there we go. Bots, I require you to take things off me. You'll get like 20 in your inventory. I'm not even sure if I really did that right. I understand the concept behind it, but I've not actually played with it too much. What, the uh, the pipes? Yeah. I'll go and have a look now. I mean, if you know more about it, do you mind taking a look and just... I'm yeah, going to go check the actual oil area to see if they're all functional now. But if not, can you make it better? I mean, your blueprint you're using, you're only using three pumps on each one. Okay, every single... Yeah, well, I just removed it because I said... You can only go four pipe, four sections of pipe, so two sets of underground pipe if you want to maintain 150 fluid per second. And I'm looking mm -hmm. up at these machines, I don't even think we need that much. You can extend the range from four sections of pipe up to... Yeah, to 
14. Yeah. If you go down to 120 and up to 224 sections mm -hmm. of pipe, if you only go to 90 fluid per second, which is more than enough. Yeah. So I cut it down to three pumps instead. Okay. Well, that's fine. Then. But, but all, all the machines have full water. So even though it looks funny and the pipes don't look full, this is actually the right way to do food mechanics in Factorio, mm -hmm. which is really weird. Food mechanics? Fluid. fluid. Very oh, different so to food mechanics. Yeah. Very, very different. Yeah. Totally it different. Remind me, I want someone to make a mod where you can just make various foods and then combine them in assemblers to make meals. How do we not have robot cargo size one yet? Because we're scraps. getting efficiency modules three. Oh, there's auto <laughs> research for you. Yep. Okay, bend them. I'm gonna need it around here. Down here. Right over here. Why? Let's pop down a tank or two. Three. It's like 300 apiece. To store up the uh, flame of fluid. Anyway, it's that time again. No, oh, you're lying to me again. once more. Why oh, no. do you keep lying, no. Stejo? Important things are dying. Well, oh, no. Uh oh. I'm not over there this time. You're on your own. What is it this time? Oh, my goodness. It's Avex oil area. No, it's not. I just... Oh, it does yes, keep it getting is. like torn apart by the biters like every five oh, minutes. Damn it! I got distracted when I was expanding it, and then I didn't add any extra defenses. My bad. I'll head up there now and sort that out. Or rather, I'll do it in the next episode. Yes. See, Joe. Want to take us out? As always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Stu Jubin Awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Take care, everyone. Bye. See you soon.